Welcome to Location, a local weather news web edition delivering top stories from a top newspaper. I'm Diana Trasati. And I'm James Santoro, and here's your news now. This past Tuesday was the college's annual Cabrini Day. This year's theme was Justice of Markets. Let's check in with Jason for more on this story. Tuesday, October 10th, was Cabrini Day. The day started off at 9 o'clock in the Dixon Center, where Cabrini students were showing off their posters to the faculty and other students. have the desired ability to use it, you right. need to learn how to use it, and you need to actually have a reason to use it. Next, there was a debate in the Widener Lecture Hall about sweatshops. Four Cabrini professors took part in the debate and discussed whether they were for or against sweatshops. The abuse factor and the exploitation factor, and there's no way to justify any further argument that's going to talk about uh, sweatshops being justified in some way. At 1 o'clock, Dr. Andrew Abella spoke about consumerism and Catholic school teaching. This is Jason Moran reporting for Location. Former Cabrini College President Dr. Antoinette Idarola joined the ranks of private college presidents across the nation whose paychecks topped $1 million last year. Other local schools like Haverford College and Bryn Mawr College were reported to have paid their presidents less than $500,000 each last year. For more information, be sure to pick up a copy of The Loquitor on newsstands now. Now let's check in with Jake and Gianna for the dirt sheet. What's up, all you stars and studs? I'm Jake Veterano. And I'm Gianna Chicatino, and welcome to The Dirt Sheet, where we give you the latest in entertainment. Aaron Carter cried like a baby on Dancing with the Stars backstage when he was finally eliminated. Looks like he's as big a failure as his brother in entertainment. Well, it's about time. Speaking of time, we're approaching the premiere of the Twilight Saga New Moon. The vampire tween loving flick will appear in theaters on November 20th. Many theaters already sold out of the open night showing, but it looks like I'll just have to wait to watch it on DVD. You seriously watch that? Yeah? Don't judge me, Jake. You're pathetic. Well, that's about all the time we have for you this week. I'm Gianna Chicatino. And I'm Jake Veterano. The Glamazon. Back to you in the studio. On Wednesday, November 4th, the final lecture of the four-part death penalty series was held in the mansion. Former death row inmate Harold Wilson spoke about his 17 and a half years in prison and time on death row. Wilson was finally acquitted of all charges in 2005 due to DNA testing. Cabrini students helped with the annual nightmare at Elmwood Park Zoo in Narstown by passing out some candy to little trick-or-treaters. For the past several years, Cabrini students have been in an ongoing partnership with Narstown, providing different services to the schools as well as Elmwood Park Zoo. For more information, visit the Wolverton Center or email Elizabeth Miller at elizabethcmiller at cabrini.edu. And now let's check in with Liz for the weather. Hi everyone, hope you all have had a good week so far. This weekend the temperatures are going to be a little chillier, but no worries because there doesn't appear to be any rain in the future. Thursday, partly cloudy skies with a high of 54 and a low of 38. Friday, partly cloudy skies once again with a high of 58 and a low of 45. All right, Saturday is not looking too great. Cloudy skies are in your forecast, the high around 58 and the low of 46. And to end your weekend, mostly cloudy skies with temperatures going back into the low 60s for a good portion of the day. Evening time will bring cooler temps in the 40s. That's all I have for you today. Back to you, Jamie. And now let's take a trip around the world. On Saturday, November 7th, the House approved a proposed health care reform plan. If passed, this plan would create a government-run health insurance program. This program would give health care coverage to all Americans. Currently, there are 36 million Americans without health insurance, and college students are covered under their parents' plan until the age of 23. This plan, however, would extend coverage until the age of 27. On Monday, November 9th, the Philadelphia SEPTA transit strike ended with a contract agreement was reached. Government Ed Rendell and Congressman Bob Brady worked with the union officials over the phone until the new contract was finally agreed upon. The first trains began to roll just in time for the morning commute into the city around 5 a.m. And now let's check in with Nick for your sports update. What's going on all you sports fans? Nick Goulden here with your two-minute drill. The Phillies lost Game 6 of the World Series, handing the trophy to the New York Yankees. 
Due to poor opening pitching by Pedro Martinez and amazing play by Hideki Matsui, the Phillies were dealt the final nail in the coffin as they lost that game with a score of 7-3. The Cavaliers dominated the CSAC Finals in men's soccer, women's soccer, volleyball, and field hockey. The field hockey team won its first CSAC title in team history, beating Newman University with a score of 2-1. Men's soccer defeated Immaculata University with a score of 2-0. Women's volleyball defeated Philadelphia Biblical University in three games, and women's soccer defeated Marywood University with a score of 1-0 in overtime. And now let's take a look at some highlights of each game. On November 7th, Cabrini College participated in the CSAC Fall Festival, hosted at Immaculata University. The first championship came from women's field hockey. I was surprised. I was really excited though, but it's definitely an honor. The whole team like played amazing though, um, and we just worked really well together. Up next was women's soccer, who walked away clean with a victory of 1-0 in overtime. The women's volleyball team walked away with the championship, crushing their opponents. Yeah, we played know, awesome. Out of the past three years I've played here, I think that was our best game. Like, it was just really Everybody fun. was just on key, and it just worked really well. As did the men's soccer team. It was great to come out here and kick the snot out of them again. But uh, it's a great rivalry we have with these guys, and uh, can't wait for the NCAA tournament. Congratulations to all teams and good luck in the NCAA tournament. From Immaculata University, I'm Chris Sarvati on location. C-Sack Sweep! C-Sack Sweep! C-Sack Sweep! C-Sack Sweep! And finally, the Eagles lost to the Cowboys with a score of 20-16. to The Birds persevered through some bad calls, but in the end, it wasn't enough to keep Tony Romo and the Cowboys' high-powered offense off the field. Back to you, Jamie and Diana. Thanks for tuning in to another great web edition, and be sure to tune in next week for another episode. I'm Jamie Santoro. And I'm Diane Trasati. Have a great day. This week's web edition has been brought to you by... Take the plunge and come out and support Special Olympics of Pennsylvania. This year, Cabrini College is helping to raise money and bring volunteers to the Special Olympics Polar Bear Plunge event. A meeting will be held next Tuesday at 6 p.m. in the Set Building Lounge on the first floor. Polar Bear Plunge helps raise money for 20,000 volunteers and participants around the Pennsylvania area.